When you think about high school students, what do you picture? Do you envision a carefree world consisting of hanging out with friends, texting, driving around town, bending the rules whenever possible? To many, this is the stereotypical life of the average American teenager, but that's only half the story. In today's society, teens are constantly bombarded with many responsibilities. Schoolwork, tests, the college process, sports activities, problems with friends and family, and not to mention the struggle to fit in with peers. In a national survey, 45% of teens reported that their stress levels had increased since 2009. However, only 17% of parents thought their teens' stress had increased. Are teenagers under too much pressure in today's society? We're going to follow four teenagers and observe their levels of stress that they experience and to try to get to the root on this ongoing problem. Hi, I'm Sarah Chris and I'm in grade 11. Okay, Sarah, how stressful would you say your life is? Pretty stressful. I'm taking um, calculus, English, um, world history, um, biology, AP biology, um, AP stat, AP not <laughs> history, and uh, what's my last one? Latin. And are all your classes honors in AP? I train about 22 hours a week, Monday through Saturday, and my main stresses are I get done practice around 7 at night during the week, and then I have to come home and do homework until about midnight, and then if I have a test the next day, I have to study for that also, and that's usually around midnight as well. It's not that I don't care, and it's not that I'm lazy, it's just the fact that I, like, I'm very easygoing. Someone told me to do something, like, it's not that, like, I'll, I'll help them out. It's, I'm very, as you said, laid back. Okay, Sarah, can you rate the profiles on their stress and why? Okay, so the first person I feel is like very stressed because they have a lot of homework and they're like missing work and competition. And then I think the second person is like kind of stressed because they're like not getting enough sleep or really isn't helping them. And the third person, I don't feel like they're stressed at all because they're just kind of like laid back and happy. So looking at these profiles, which student do you think would have the most stress in their life? Teaching. The most stress? Yeah. Student number three. Student number three, and what do they do? And why do you think they'd have more stress? Okay, right, so gymnastics, practice for 22 hours a week, that's Stephanie's education. Um, they are taking pretty... Um, her classes, I guess, Algebra 2, chem, Chemistry, um, and missing work for competitions, I know what that feels like, and um, missing like one day of school can like definitely affect um, the grade because you miss a lot. And then what do you have to say about student number one? What kind of person do you think that is? Well, they seem to be involved with softball and just school, so seems like a regular student almost. Which student do you think has the most stress in their life? I think the sophomore student because he has a lot of honors and AP classes and that's more demanding. Mm -hmm. And which student do you think has the least stress? 
I think that the senior has the less stress because he seems like he has activities that help him de-stress, like teaching karate. Student number two is taking all honors classes, so I mean, that's gonna kill you. Then activities We've got she's in P I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different nine different activities in school and out of school. I play softball and basketball and softball I it's very demanding because I'm always playing like every week and I see that you like to hang out with your friends in your spare time. Do you ever find that you're too busy with work to spend time with them? Okay, my business. Lately, yes, because I just started a job and I have softball school. But I try to make time for my friends. Okay, so I'm taking algebra 2, chem, internet business, psychology, history, and English. And chem is pretty stressful. I'm in FCA, it's Fellowship of Christian Athletes. One thing I really enjoy, um, I'm in Math League, Science League, um, I'm an LTV Morning Show host, and I'm also in Interact, and I tutor in the center. It's all of you. All right, now David says he's not really that stressed out. Do you refute this statement or agree with it? I don't refute it, but I kind of say that all of us, especially like the AP and honor students, are really stressed, and especially me and David and a lot of the sophomores who take a lot of APs and honors. Like from like a scale from like one to ten, I think he's like a solid eight or nine. <laughs> well, he comes in stress pretty much every day. He does these like frantic arm motions when he's talking when he's really stressed, <laughs> and he. He's trying to like act like he's not stressed right now, and it's pretty funny. And um, he's always like freaking out. And he's always talking like really fast when he's nervous, and it's really funny actually. <laughs> I know. I make, I make your life happier. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah, he. It is funny. He makes me happy. He makes me less stressed with his stress. <laughs> but do you think he's fully himself when he says I'm not stressed? No, I think he's he's, he's a joke <laughs> when he says that. Okay. I love him to death, but the kid is a nervous wreck. <laughs> Okay. So you have to eat healthy for gymnastics? What are you having? I have salad with oil and vinegar. Um, I feel like there's a lot of pressure for gymnastics because I'm at such a high level because I'm a level 10. I feel like there's a lot of pressure with that and school is because I'm a junior it feels like there's more pressure with that since you're going into junior year and you have to have everything ready for college. I have verbally committed to the University of New Hampshire, New Hampshire on a full athletic scholarship, so I know I'm going there for school. But I'm, also, I'm just stressing about with gymnastics because I'll be doing gymnastics for another four years. Bryce, what are you looking for? Oh, uh, I'm looking for music um, yeah, on YouTube. It's you so what you do during, during homeroom. Music. What? This is what you do during homeroom. Yeah. Do you ever do homework during homeroom? Yes. No, I oh, never he, do. He homework. never does homework. Period. <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> um, I do. I have soccer. Uh, not that stressful. Like I, I'll play it, or I have practice on Wednesdays, Fridays for an hour and a half each. But then I have a game normally on Sunday, which is 90 minutes more than that. But it's not really that stressful because it's 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 a game. I enjoy it. It's kind of like some people take it a little seriously. I take it seriously, but it's a it's a game. It's not a really big deal. So you're you're going to college. Are you nervous about being away and being on your own? Um, well, luckily for me, Rowan's literally, I'd say, 10 minutes from my house. I'm not living on campus, I'm commuting, so I get to see my parents every day. Can you tell me, how do you know Bryce Kelly? Bryce, I know him through LTV and the homeroom. We've been friends for a few years, like two or three, and uh, he's a pretty cool guy. Do you think he um, ever just like pretends he doesn't have stress, but maybe he really does? He could. I mean, he could be under... A lot of pressure since his dad's a principal. I mean, that could, you know, cause stress, trying to impress your dad. Like, I understand people are like, oh my god, look, Mr. Kelly's your, your dad? Oh. I'm just like, yeah, he's my dad. Okay. You don't have to treat me any differently. But, it's, they, my dad just kind of leaves me be in school. Pressure to learn 
like um, I feel like they feel like they have to be perfect. So they always have to look good, get good grades, do drugs, get out of their mind, have Oh yeah, I think um, society has evolved um, in a way that everyone's trying to get into college, everyone's trying to um, increase their level of activity. Um, I feel like kids are doing way too much these days. Um, I feel like I'm doing sometimes a little bit too much, but that's just in order to keep up with the level of competition and I feel like that level has gone a little bit too high. Yeah. My name's Kevin Kelly, I'm the assistant principal here at Lenape High School. Um, and the question that I need to answer is that uh, what causes stress for students in general here at Lenape? And my feel is that it's pressure that's put on students, whether it be academically, athletically, or a combination of both. Um, and that pressure also, I, I would also want to include pressure from parents. I, I find that the pressure from parents to, to, to be at a very high level in both academics and sports is also part of this problem. But Though we've become more accepting as a society, I feel like that acceptance has bred other forms of, of pressure like social media in, in a sense. Though we put everything out there for other people, a lot of times we worry too much about what people think about that or worry what other people say about us in social media. So that creates stress that I didn't have to deal with. I think because there's so much access to everything that people feel compelled to have everything. So, whereas maybe when I was younger, I was more focused on getting the school done, and then a job, and then also friends and social life, but I didn't try to do everything all the time. There were plenty of times where I did sit around and hang out. Um, and I think because there's so many more opportunities, whether it be for volunteering or other classes or, or sports or, or whatever the case may be, that everyone's trying to just fill those plates to bursting. So I think that's where a lot of the stress comes from. I don't know if it's much, it's like pressure, but I think it's expectations and like how you compare yourself to others and you always want to have one up on your friends, so I think that's the case. I think that there's like a whole stereotype of having to be like the perfect size and have perfect clothes and makeup and I think that everyone is trying to fit that whole image. For the average American teenager, life is not a carefree experience. Whether it is pressure from parents and teachers to do well in school, or pressure from society to be perfect, for most teenagers, it is nearly impossible to escape the stress. We asked a few words of advice to give to those who are overcome with enormous amounts of stress. Um, calm down. Um, now, for students who are very stressed out, um, time management is probably the biggest thing, and it's not something that I didn't even learn until college and it's something that still stresses me out even to this day. When you let things go and they all pile up, that's when the problems happen. To um, take a step back, this is a four year journey, but it's not the end, and you have plenty of time to be perfect. And my mom always told me, college is a reset. That's a chance to be stressed out or not stressed out because you get to choose. So don't let this be the time where you're so wired. Bottom line is failure is part of growth too. And you need to learn how to deal with both success and failure. You know, if you're able to do that and be able to get through it and not feel like you're a failure, then you know you're going to gradually, you know, find your way. So, uh, you know, it, it's 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 part of the process. That's the way I look at it, and navigating through that's important.